Obama to all Americans, this country owes me a debt of gratitude. Prior to Obama, President Jimmy Carter held the title of worst president ever to serve our nation. Of course, after eight years in office, there's no question Obama hands down has more than achieved that award. In fact, so much so, many Americans now think of Obama as the worst president ever. Even President Trump said Obama will go down as perhaps the worst president ever in the history of the United States. Trump oh. Trump should know. After all, he's the one who's left cleaning up all the messes and disasters that Obama left. Lord knows that's going to take some time. Besides Obamacare, Obama's messes also include the millions of illegal immigrants that flooded our nation because he ignored our immigration laws and our constitution. Add to that the millions of dollars he approved and spent on sanctuary cities which supported illegals with our hard-earned tax dollars. President Obama does not see it that way and in fact immediately began drawing a distinction between his leadership and President Donald Trump, even before our current president took office. This flies in the face of the time-honored tradition of not criticizing the incoming president, especially on foreign soil. He believes America owes him a great debt. Yes. The, the largest national debt ever. Even though Obama promised to reduce our debt, he did the exact opposite. Obama added more national debt than all the previous presidents combined. Add to that, Obama left our military as one of the weakest and most depleted in history. By doing so, he put our national security at risk. He even forced out many of those in the military at top positions, because they didn't agree with his narrative, which was we were winning the war. You might say, because of Obama's stupidity and foolishness for pulling out of Iraq, he helped create the vacuum that led to the creation of ISIS or what he called the JV team. Just think where we'd be if he hadn't done that. Yet Barack Obama just this month on foreign soil, for the meager price of $400,000, said America now lacks the leadership he gave America and that we will soon yearn for that steady hand that once gave us such a great advantage in the world. Speaking at the end of a 10-day tour of the Southeast Asian country where he spent part of his childhood, Mr. Obama drew a sharp contrast to Mr. Trump's America First philosophy, without mentioning his successor by name. He called for nations to come together to confront global challenges like terrorism and climate change, and he cautioned against an aggressive kind of nationalism creeping into politics. The challenges of our times, whether it's economic inequality, changing climate, terrorism, mass migration, these are real challenges, and we're going to have to confront them together. When it comes to fighting terrorism, this is what Trump no doubt thinks of Obama's, ahem. Well, you know. Oh, and let's not forget that another title Obama had was the food stamp president. That was due to all of his fabulous regulations and restrictions he passed on to businesses that pretty much strangled any economic growth during his eight years in office. His policies were a complete failure and caused millions of jobs to be lost and millions of Americans to be unemployed. Of course, when many Americans couldn't find work, they just stopped looking for jobs, so his administration just stopped counting them and the unemployment numbers. Oh, well dot go figure. Yes, we owe him such a debt. Of what? We could also talk on and on about the biggest racial divide that Obama caused that hasn't been seen since the Civil War days, but let's not even go there. Enough has already been said about hash black lives matter to cause enough of us to vomit. In addition to all of just these disasters, Obama even decided to stay around in Washington, D.C. He probably wanted to ensure his little liberal friends in Hollywood. He was still protecting their interests and still protecting his wonderful signature token of a mess. Obamacare. After all, Obama wants to ensure that little beauty stays around, even if it is still one big disaster for Americans and his only accomplishment. But never mind that he's the worst president ever, Obama still thinks America owes him a debt of gratitude and this has been going on for years. Probably the worst example though was during Barack Obama's final press conference, when he spent a majority of the time patting himself on the back. It was laughable, really. Did you see it? Obama told a room full of reporters that after eight years of his presidency, the United States is stronger, in better shape, and more respected across the world than ever before. 
Here's my favorite quote. Almost every country on earth sees America as stronger and more respected today than they did eight years ago. Compiling a list of reasons why Barack Obama is a terrible president seems like a project for a book rather than a column, but I am sure many of you agree Trump is right, Obama will undoubtedly go down as the worst president ever in American history. In history. <laughs>